there's a debate between rabbis. When does the simcha of Adar, when does that start? The first Adar or the second Adar? Now going through the Shuk, on the way to work, you would say for sure the people in the Shuk decided the halachic answer. Through the amount of hamatashim and shalachmanas throughout the Shuk, you're sure it's two, both others. But the truth is, it is both others. The reason why it's both others is because we know the reason why we celebrate the Simcha is not necessarily because of Purim, but because Moses, Moshe Rabbeinu, was born in the month of Adar, and because of that, and as a result of that, we had the miracle of Purim. And Moshe was born in the first Adar, Zion Adar Aleph. How do we become the Simcha? That we find in this week's Parsha. How do we get to the Simcha? We find it in this week's portion of Parsha's Torah. Whereas the creation of the world, the Torah brings it down in 36 verses. The creation of the tabernacle, there's 450 verses. What Hashem created, 36 verses. And the Mishkan, 450 verses? Was it that much more important? And the answer is, the creation of the world was something from above Hashem created for us below. Whereas the tabernacle, we created. Hashem created the world for us to do something, for us to make change. When we do it, that brings us the true satisfaction. You ever notice you built something from Ikea? How much you connect to what you built? It's because you built it. It says many times the word vi'asisa, vi'asisa, and you should create and you should do. The Torah tells you when you do, that brings you the ultimate joy. Our job in the world, especially in times of today, thank God today actually, this tremendous simcha, tremendous happiness, knowing and hearing that two of our hostages were rescued by over a thousand soldiers that took part in this operation. So that itself should give us simcha and hope for the rest of the hostages. But us, the asisa, the more we do, the more simcha we have. We have to contemplate and do what brings us to simcha. And that's why there's a commandment to do this, to be the simcha. Because that happens through our thoughts, through our action, in doing, in changing, in helping. That will bring the ultimate simcha, the simcha of Mashiach Tzidkenu. Thank you.